Hello Supers and Maniacs, welcome back to my channel. Today we continue with episode 3 of the series The Kingslayer, where we're looking for the potential bodybuilder who can beat 2003 Mr. Olympia Ronnie Coleman at his freakiest shape of all time. However, the contender is able to use any version from any show or year in each of the mandatory poses, depending where he looked the best. These are the rules of this series and this time around Big Rami will try the impossible. Make sure you check out the first two episodes of this series with uh, Phil Heath in episode 1 and Jay Cutler in the second episode. Links to these videos are in the description. So without any further ado, we're starting with the front double biceps and this is 2017 Olympia Big Rami, where I believe his guns looked better than in 2020, way better I would say. Ronnie Coleman will not have the size advantage anymore in this episode as Big Rami is himself a being of epic proportions, however in this pose, Ronnie still has the advantage of uh, muscle quality, muscle separation, especially through the arms and legs, his uh, downside being uh, again only the midsection. Big Rami looks impressive right here, but Ronnie might be impossible to beat in the front double. Ronnie Coleman scores the first point in this comparison today. But next is the front lat spread and look at Big Rami guys. I dare to say that he's uh, showing Ronnie Coleman a thing or two about this pose right here. Big Ronnie may be as wide if not even wider than Ronnie Coleman, his execution is definitely better as well as his V taper. This is 2017 Big Ronnie again guys, Big Ronnie was a beast at the 2017 Mr. Olympia. Ronnie Coleman has one of the best front lat spread poses of all time, but right here and right now, Big Rami beats him fair and square and evens the score at 1-1. And one more time before we continue, if you're watching my videos regularly and appreciate my work, hit that subscribe button because as you can see in this stat, around 80% of you guys watching my videos in the last month are not subscribed to the channel yet. Thank you guys and uh, let's move on. And we're going straight to this epic pose for both of them, the side chest. This is obviously 2020 Olympia Big Rami where uh, he perfected this pose, but is enough to beat the king? I know I've made this call in the past in my Rani 3 vs Rami 2020 video and in that video I gave this pose to Big Rami. However, Looking at the pose again, I'm not so sure I made the right call then. I mean, yeah, Rami has uh, that big structure with uh, his huge chest and good arms and shoulders, and on top of everything he has that epic side leg. However, when I look at Ronnie Coleman, things seem to go one level beyond. He is thicker, he looks harder, his guns are better, his chest looks fuller and his side leg may be even more impressive even though he doesn't have the cuts of uh, Big Rami. So my point goes to the king in the side chest, guys. And now we're looking at the back double biceps pose and this is the incredible 2017 Olympia Big Rami. Just look at his back development in this pose. Way better than in 2020 in my opinion. But as good as inc and uh, as incredible Big Rami would look here, Ronnie Coleman is just too much in this pose right here. Nobody can touch that. There are guys like Phil who have the details but uh, lack the size. There are guys like Dorian who get destroyed downstairs in spite of being a real threat upper body. And guys like Big Rami that have the size but lack the details and muscle bellies. So yeah, for me Ronnie Coleman is untouchable in this pose and gets the point again. Going into the back lat spread we can notice that uh, things are more even in this pose and this is 2020 Big Rami where uh, I believe his lat spread was superior to 2017. Big Rami seems way larger also because of the way he's holding the pose. 
He leans more to the camera where Ronnie seems to be leaning in the opposite direction. It's true that Rami seems to be having the overall width in this pose, but aside from that, his back looks kinda washed up. His traps are inferior to those of Ronnie, his lower lat separation is non-existent, and downstairs he has the mass, and, um, and I'm referring to the glute ham development cause he has no calves, unfortunately. But Ronnie Coleman has the better muscle quality overall, He's uh, big as well and probably more conditioned, so my point goes to be King Ronnie Coleman again. But we just finished with the back poses and now Big Rami is coming back strong with his beautiful 2017 side triceps. Way better than in 2020 again. His arms overall were way better in 2017. He's beating Ronnie at the tricep development and also with the side leg which from this angle looks so much better than Ronnie's and this is 2017 Big Rami which shows us that he always had that crazy side leg development. All in all Big Rami wins this pose. Next pose is the abs and thighs and this is 2020 Olympia Big Rami again where he had the best quads he ever had in his entire career. This is the battle of the best squad developments of the modern era where it's hard to pick a winner. However upper body obviously Big Rami has the advantage as his midsection is smaller, his V taper is better and his ab development is better. So overall Big Rami takes this pose. Last pose is the most muscular. I chose these, these variations as they seem to be holding this pose kinda the same right here. They both have uh, wide structures with crazy quad developments, but Big Rami has a beautiful X frame due to his uh, tight midsection, whereas Ronnie Coleman's X frame is uh, damaged by his nasty midsection. Ronnie has the better muscle quality overall with the thinner skin, but overall this pose uh, has to go to Big Rami. His silhouette looks so much better, so Big Rami scores the final point, making the score 4-4 in this comparison. So in conclusion, Big Rami does not get defeated in this comparison, where he could have uh, he could choose multiple physique versions. Actually, we used only 2017 and 2020 as uh, these were his best two versions, in my opinion. Of course we all know 2013 New York Pro or 2014 Olympia but he was way smaller then and between 2017 and 2020 he did not nail the condition and conditioning enough to be in this conversation. So big King Ronnie Coleman holds on to his crown as in this series you have to beat Ronnie on points in order to be the King Slayer. But Big Rami did not lose this comparison which shows again how vulnerable is Ronnie in this type of comparisons. Let me know in the comment section below who should go next against Ronnie Corman. Like this video if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more videos like this. Thank you guys and see you next time.